Welcome to the NBA Christmas Special presented by State Farm. At the Garden, the Knicks and Celtics getting ready to tip off the first of five games across ESPN and ABC on this Christmas. And we wish you a Merry Christmas and a very happy holiday season. This edition of the Christmas jerseys on display. Johnson and Noah to jump it up. And it's Greg game. Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan. So let's take a look at the Boston Celtics starting lineup. Thomas is the point with Bradley to his side. Jay Crowder out there with Johnson. And it's Horford in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Well, you can see a change in the play with the Celtics after the trade deadline last year. Adding Isaiah Thomas gave them some pop off the bench and really created some balance for them offensively. Now here's Crowder. Isaiah Thomas unable to get his last shot to go. Johnson with a screen on Rose. Six to shoot. Outer dishes to Johnson. A second chance effort and lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. And that was something the Celtics needed adding Tom as a player that could come in and provide Clark instant offense for them off the bench. And Kevin, I think that was a turning point for him last year. I mean, they saw that they had a chance to make a big leap forward after the trade and responded accordingly. And he can't hit the second. I'm watching Amir Johnson Clark. He seems so casual about silently destroying opponents in the paint. And he's carried that air about him almost his entire career. You know what? He's rarely had plays call for him, Kevin. He doesn't produce a bunch of highlights, but he's really potent. I mean, one of the league's best at defending opponents at the rim, grabbing in traffic rebounds. Those both are valuable assets. And talking about Amir Johnson, he, he's really the last of a discontinued model, if you will. When the Pistons called his name in the 2005 NBA draft, the year before the rookie age limit was put in place, he became the last 18-year-old drafted into our league. It, and it did take him a number of years to kind of get up to the pro speed. Now, here's Thomas. Outside Bradley. Johnson outside over to the left wing. Here's Crowder. It's hauled in by Noah. Guys, did you know not once in Johnson's 10 seasons has he averaged more than 11 points or seven and a half rebounds a game? Sometimes he doesn't even start. And yet, there is a certain sect of followers who feel Amir Johnson is among the most valuable, efficient players in the league. Now here's Crowder following the miss by Derrick Rose. Side Thomas. Shot misses. Now the next take it the other way. About two minutes played here in the first quarter. Anthony, the pass to Lee. Picked by Lee. Over in the corner, Rose. From outside, off the mark. Boy, they're fortunate. Defense was taking a big chance, leaving him that wide open behind the arc. Unloads from 13, and it's Bradley. That time on the assist by Horford. And, and you know, it took them a while to get going, but they finally connected now on their fourth shot of the game. Thomas against Rose. Feeds it to Anthony. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Listen, the Knicks finishing at the bottom of the East last season. They, they didn't go into the season thinking they were in for a rough go, making last season all that more painstaking for the fan. Now here is Horford. And the shot is good, dropping in off the front of the rim. New York trailing. There's 154 left in the first quarter of the game. Rose against Thomas. Rose kicks to Anthony. Here's Noah. And a dunk to finish it off. A ah, beauty. Guys back and forth this first half. Well, five lead changes early on, guys, as we grapple back and forth. <laughs> and this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. Now here's Thomas. 
He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. To the middle. Here's Horford. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. Really nice dime dropping there. Playmaking ability is exactly what you get from Isaiah Thomas. And for the Knicks and their play against the rest of the conference, uh, guys who've been talking about only Clark 11 wins in 52 games. And you know, Kevin, what's worse is the Knicks were 5 and 21 at home against the East. No matter how you slice that up, the Knicks had a season that everybody would like to forget in New York. So for the Knicks, Kyle O'Quinn is checked in for Noah. Thomas comes in for Perzingis, and it's Jennings in for Rose. And a new group in for the Celtics. Zeller, he's checked in for Horford. Norebko comes in for Johnson. Brown, he's checked in for Jay Crowder. And Marcus Smart is sub in for Brandon. And that is good. I like the recognition of the mismatch there, immediately making the defense pay. There's 53 seconds left here in the opening quarter. And Thomas, here we go. Here's Zeller. That's good. It's Thomas picking up the assist. Zeller's got his first two points. Guys, what a wild first half this has been. I'd say, I mean, oh. eight lead changes. That speaks for itself. Mm. <laughs> a while back in fourth start, that's for sure. Now here's Jennings. Down low, Thomas dishes to Anthony. Mark down low that time, and he got the three-second goal. So both teams making some changes here. Celtics have gone four of seven from the field, shooting over 50%. Three second difference between shot clock and game clock. Now here's Smart. Not a lot of room. And out of bounds as the next game possession. That's a major mental mistake. I mean, there's no other way for me to describe it. He didn't know where he was on the court. That's a that's a that's a basic fundamental. You have to be alert to where you are. Now here's Jennings. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Holiday, no one around him. And again, it's New York. Boy, you got to love that nice assist by Kenny. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. It's the Knicks up one. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second. And Celtics head coach Brad Stevens lured away from a very successful 10. The only hard part. I wonder if coach Brad Stevens feels like he's recruiting another college class with all those draft picks bucked in his stockpile. Well, I don't know how he would address that question, but I do know he's feeling real good about his decision. I mean, taking the Celtics to the playoffs in just his second season. I mean, I think he's one of the bright coaching stars in the NBA today. But was it the NBA's game? college basketball's loss when he moved on to the Celtics. Well said. And the second quarter getting underway. No team gaining an edge so far. And looking at what we've seen from the Knicks so far, what do you guys think? Just very aggressive on the offensive side of the ball, attacking the rim in this first quarter. A lot of trips to the free throw line. Taking full advantage of playing at home. And the fans have really helped them here. On the court for the Celtics, second quarter underway. We've got Brown. Horford is out there with Garebko. And it's Green, and it's Smart in at the one spot. Jay Crowder's checked in for the Celtics. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Outside Rose. Passes it to Persingas. New York moving it around. Four on the clock. And it's Rose penetrating. He got right to the cup using that screen. Rose has got the lead up to one now for the Knicks. And there was a we play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. For Zingas. Yes. And it's Rose with the assist that time. Celtics trail by three. 
And with Rose again, he showed flashes last season of his level of play, Clark, before the injury. Yeah, exactly. And you hate to see any player go down with injuries, especially a talent like Derrick Rose. He still needs to show that he can regain that high level of NBA play for, a, for an entire season. I think that's just a matter of time. Okay. Outside Green kicks to Eurepto. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Knicks have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Holiday, the pass to Kuzminskis. Noah, the screen. Outside Rose. Out left to the wing. Lock it four. Rebounded by Yurebko. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Smart kicks to Green. He feeds it to Smart. It's up a three. And the basket good. Smart's got himself going with the triple. His first basket of the game. And back and forth we go. That bucket gives us another lead change. Too many of those to count. These teams have matched each other shot for shot, play for play. It has been impressive. And, and guys, Gerald Green looked to be out of the NBA at one point in his career. But, but since coming back from Russia, he has completely reinvented himself as a player. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Hey, guys. Well, Brad Stevens had some advice for the team over that last break. Horford was the focus of the discussion, and he wants their offense to run through him. Coach emphasized getting him as many touches as possible, saying he is going to be one of the guys to carry us the rest of the way. Maybe making those early adjustments will give them time to judge their effectiveness by halftime. We'll soon find out, Kevin. Thanks a lot, Doris. That was good. And that's now six points for Carmelo Anthony. And for Gerald Green and him reinventing himself, really uh, was just known as a dunker before heading overseas. You know, Kevin, he came back with a better shot and a better understanding of how to win as a player. Strange to think that there was a time that he couldn't find a way onto an NBA roster. Knicks have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Lee dishes to Anthony. Noah with a screen for Anthony. To Persingas, the feed to Rose. Trills the three pointer. Now it's a three point Knicks lead. Such a height mismatch out on the perimeter, and they give up the triple. Picked by Horford. Thomas passes to Horford. Thomas kicks to Johnson. Goes up high for the two handed dunk. And guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run, don't you think? Clark to the hoop for him there. Momentum can swing on plays like that, Kevin, especially when the finish has that much thunder on it. And there's the foul on Jay Crowder. That's his first foul. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off. 